What's up, everybody? I'm John from Viewpoint Abroad. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you don't know me, I'm an expat who's been living abroad for about 15 years now. Um, right now, I'm living in China, where I've been for about 12 years. Um, I've lived in the Philippines and I've traveled around other places too, like all over Asia. So um, over here, we just talk about all things about living abroad. So today, I got a video for you guys, and we're going to be talking about the cheapest place to live in 2022. Now, this particular place, I'm actually really looking at this place, taking a good hard look at this place and considering actually moving there into retirement. Uh, well, what do they call it? Retirement. Uh, people, I guess, misconfuse that, but like, I mean, like when I just take my business to online and have more freedom for myself without having to actually go to work for a nine to five, then I'm looking at this place as one of the places I'm considering to live at, all right? And that place is Vietnam, right? Right now, Vietnam is extremely cheap to live, which it has been for ages. And right now, um, it's, a, it's an excellent place to live. I've been there many times and I've traveled around the country to different cities and things within the country. And I have lots of friends who live there as well. And I've spent extended amounts of time in the country of Vietnam. So um, I got some notes here to tell you guys about. And um, so basically, first thing I wanna let you know is that, um, you know, it's uh, it's about half, everything, most of the things in Vietnam are about half the cost of what they are in the West, like in America or Canada. And then on top of that, it's about five to 25% cheaper than any other Southeast Asian country. So Vietnam is extremely cheap. Uh, compared to the rest of the world, even to other countries in Southeast Asia. But don't let that fool you. Vietnam actually can offer you a really nice luxury style lifestyle for a, a tiny, tiny fraction of money, right? A tiny bit of money. And uh, so I've got some of the costs here that, I, uh, that I've uh, compiled from actually being in the country and traveling around the country and also from a few friends who actually live in the country who I've discussed this situation with. So, uh, First thing I want you to know is like the most expensive city in Vietnam is gonna be Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi. Um, I have been to both of those places. Uh, basically a middle, a couple, like two people, living it's like a normal middle class lifestyle. You can get by on about 12 or $1,300 a month. That's including your rent, your food, and it's including everything, right? In total, about 12, $1,300 a month for two people. A standard middle class lifestyle, like what most people are probably experiencing right now in, in America or Canada. So it's extremely cheap for two people. And I even know some single people who are getting by like $500 a month, $600 a month. And that's covering everything. It's covering the rent, the food, you know, uh, eating out and all these other things, all included. So it's extremely cheap. Now, if you take a step back and go to some other cities in Vietnam, which actually prefer the other cities, they're even a little bit cheaper. And uh, like we have the cities like Da Nang, which I've been to Da Nang for a, lot, a long time. Uh, they have a, a nice beach and stuff there. Da Nang is a really beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, Hoi An is also really nice. I've been there as well. And Nha Trang, which is one I haven't been to, but um, from what, I, what I've seen and people that I've talked to, it's also an excellent place. Um, but there, it's even less money. Therefore, a couple can get about $800 to $1,000 a month for a standard middle-class lifestyle. And you can spend about $2,000 a month and have a little bit higher like luxury type lifestyle. But um, for $800 to $1,100 a month, um, you know, you can, this includes everything. You're talking utilities, your rent, your groceries, eating out in restaurants, even some luxury things from time to time like massage or, uh, you know, you can have a housekeeper and all these other things. And you can get it for under $1,100 a month for a couple. So uh, if you're a single person, you can definitely do it even cheaper. Um, so there's some things here that I have wrote down I wanna show you guys. Uh, so the first thing is, especially if, if you're in like Da Nang or Hoi An or uh, Nha Trang, no matter where you choose to live, you're gonna be within a few minutes from the beach, a few minutes from the sea. You can even have you know a seaside condo or apartment, whatever, for about $400 a month, $450 a month, where you literally, sit on your balcony every day and you can look at the ocean you can walk to the beach in one or two minutes so the the price that you're going to be paying for rent to be so close to the beach and so close to the ocean for me is a no-brainer why not you know do that so um another thing that i want to miss you guys is about uh you know the food and stuff right like uh western food you know definitely is abundant it's everywhere but it's a little bit more expensive than the local food if you can eat like the locals 
or, you know, eat like go to the local supermarkets and buy local, you know, vegetables and local meat and stuff like that, your costs are going to be greatly reduced as opposed to eating or buying Western groceries, like imported goods and things like that. Um, but like I mentioned before, the cost is so cheap, you know, you can afford to do that and not really hurt your, uh, your savings or income any very much. So, um, let me tell you about the cost of this some of this stuff here so uh for for two people at a local restaurant right you, know, you eat a full meal and it's just like a pho or something like that pho is a really delicious vietnamese dish if you don't know it you should try it but um, you can get like a, a local a local meal or go to a local restaurant get a meal uh, also your drink like your beer wine or coke whatever you drink right two people it's going to cost you like five or six dollars for two people all right, it's extremely, extremely cheap. And then if you go to a Western restaurant and have the same meal, say like, I don't know, like, like, like a fancy place or something, but like you just go to like a, you know, a foreign restaurant or eat foreign food, say you eat hamburger, french fries, and eat beer, coke, wine, something like that. For two people, it's gonna cost you about eight to 10, 12 bucks. So again, it's extremely cheap to eat outside. And if you want to go to like more of a luxury dinner or not really luxury dinner, but like say you want to go to like somewhere and have like steak and something like that, right? Like a Western steakhouse and, uh, you know, have your wine and beer, stuff like that. It's going to cost you about 18 to $20 for two people. So, uh, you know, even dining out is extremely cheap here in Vietnam. And then, um, another thing when it comes to like housekeeping, things like that, right? Like you can hire a maid. It's about two or $3 uh, per hour. So if you want to have somebody come in, you know, once or twice a week to clean, it might cost you five or 10 bucks. All right. And then um, on top of that, you have internet. Internet's about three or $4 a month. And then they also have packages like for phone and TV. So like for your, 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 uh, like for your phone bill or something like that, phone and TV are combined. And they're usually about 10 to $12 a month for both combined. So uh, extremely cheap for all of that. Now, the only thing that you will pay like a, like a normal price, like what you would pay in America for, is gonna be electricity. Electricity is a little bit more expensive than other things in Vietnam. So, uh, for example, you know, Vietnam is also quite uh, humid or uh, hot uh, most of the year. So you're gonna be running your air conditioner a lot, things like that. So uh, you can expect to pay about 75 to 100, $110 a month for your electricity bill. But other than that, everything else is extremely cheap. So um, if I were you guys, I would definitely, if you're thinking about living abroad or say you, like you, you uh, earn an online income or you like, you know, retiring with like a, a small dividend portfolio or something for a couple thousand dollars a month, you should definitely consider living in Vietnam. Uh, you know, like I said, for a couple, $1,200 a month will get you there. If you're a single person, $1,200 a month is quite a high level of life, uh, you know, lifestyle. So, uh, and if you're, you know, if you're, uh, want to live a luxury lifestyle, you can do that there too. And it won't cost you that much. You can you know, spend about $2,000 a month and live a more luxurious lifestyle where you're, you know, eating fancy restaurants every single day. You live at the beach, you do massages, you have a 24 hour, you know, maid who comes, you know, cooks and cleans and does everything for you. You can do all that stuff for pennies on the dollar. So definitely consider checking out Vietnam or looking more into uh, the cost of living or actually living in Vietnam. Vietnam is an excellent place, you know, lots of uh, friendly local people. And um, I really enjoy staying there all the times that I've been there. And uh, I plan to go back and it might be one of the places that I call home in the next few years. So that being said, guys, I'm out here for now. Um, hope you enjoyed some of the images I put up here in Vietnam as well. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, come back for more, and we'll talk about some more places and maybe a little bit more about Vietnam as well. So see you guys next time. Peace.